Hello there. So I got an early Christmas present from my sister's boyfriend, Carter, who was my secret Santa for this year. And it's funny, we were planning on playing Twilight Imperium that Monday. We were gonna play the third edition, uh, but he got me the fourth edition as a Christmas gift. Um, and I was really surprised. My mom actually got my reaction on video um, and accidentally deleted it, which is a shame. Um, so I was originally going to share that, but I thought maybe I'd just talk about the game a little bit and my experience playing it and the excitement I've, I've had to play it again and maybe a little bit about the game. I'm not a board game reviewer by any means, so uh, I would recommend going to either Shut Up or Sit Down and uh, the Dice Tower to look at Twilight Imperium if you're wanting to get to know, really get to know how to play it. But, I just wanted to talk about the game from a player's perspective um, rather than a deep dive into how to play this behemoth. Because this is a legendary game. The first edition came out in, I believe, 1999, and it is a love letter to science fiction. I mean, if you love Star Trek, Star Wars, Battlestar, uh, Babylon 5, Dune, all that stuff is referenced in some way in Twilight Imperium, in like very subtle ways. It's not like ripped off or anything. It's it's a, it's a tribute, like in a good way. Um, and it's fun for hardcore science fiction fans or even occasional science fiction fans because it's like there are moments we were playing where we were like, yeah, this ship kind of looks like one of these Star Destroyers from Empire Strikes Back, and it was just sort of like a little fun thing, or we would have a political moment that reminded, uh, reminded me of an episode from Babylon 5. So, in that aspect, this is a really fun game to play. But the backstory to this game is that they're, that you're battling, they're, you're picking a race out of 17. There are 17 races to pick from, and uh, you're basically competing for resources. Uh, the Empire has fallen, and w one of the races want to step in and take over the main planet, which is called Mechatol Rex, and then try to spread their influence throughout the entire galaxy. And basically that's represented through victory points, which games people try to get through the game. And uh, you do stuff like you build ships, you build colonies, ground forces, spaceships, all sorts of cool stuff. And, I mean, just look at how big this box is. This is this is the fourth edition, and this is my copy of third edition. Uh, third edition is a much longer box. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with my copy of third edition. I thought about donating it. Uh, there is a local bar around here called D20 that does a lot of board games and they have a board game collection. I don't think they have Twilight Imperium so I was thinking about giving them my copy of the third edition. I bought third edition a couple months ago for like $50. This was a used one. Uh, the box is really beat up and it's missing the character races. Like it was missing the character race sheets so I actually had to print those off which wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but at the time, I couldn't afford to buy the fourth edition because it is quite expensive. Um, but now that I have it, I really have no need for third edition um, because I think that fourth edition is superior in a lot of ways. I really do. Um, I played third edition three times, I think. Not all the way through. We never got to actually finish a game, but with 4th edition, we did to play all the way through, and having only played it once, I do think it is superior. Um, it's just quicker to play. Like, there's lots... It just the game moves a lot smoother. It's not that 3rd edition was bad. 3rd edition is still really good. Um, but I think 4th edition, there's a lot less time that gets bogged down. It seems like it gets much more to the good parts, like uh, the political stuff and the trade stuff is a lot easier. And I know that means nothing to anybody that hasn't played the game, but I'm, I'm just, just spitballing here. This is the basic presentation on the back that shows uh, what, the, what the board will more or less look like. It looks different depending on how many players you play with. You could play with three to six players. And I so far have played with uh, four, um, and, which was a lot of fun. And there's an example of what the races and the factions look like. 
Uh, here's the game contents, and these are the plastic figures that are included with the game. Uh, it's like this reminds me of a Star Destroyer from Star Wars. This reminds me of a spaceship from Battlestar Galactica, um, and this one does too. And this one reminds me a little bit of the Death Star from Star Wars. Um, but like I said, it's just like a lot of really cool geeky science fiction stuff. Like if you're a gigantic geek that likes long board games, then this is something for you. And I'm also, I really like reptiles, so I really love these turtle people. That was the race that I played uh, the other night was the turtle people. I forget what they're actually called, but I like to call them the turtle people. So here's what you get inside the box. You got your victory cards, you got uh, different colored... Uh, units for each player uh, for up to six players the 17 different factions are have their own bags Originally, it's I had watched a documentary about the making of this game and they were originally going to make Units for each single faction which would have been insane. I mean think about 17 different bags for Each faction that's just that's just crazy and here's an example of of a planet um, and all the other stuff it's just it's just really bonkers how cool this game is so it comes with two rule books and it comes with a lore book so this basically tells you the backstory of the galaxy now it's flexible enough to where you can sort of make stuff up while you're playing the game because there's a certain narrative to the game where you're it's almost like almost role playing where you're trying to decide how to play to your species uh, strengths and such but there's lots of really incredible artwork like I'm excited to go through this and read it heck I might even do a book vlog just about this uh, but it's a basic backstory again there's the turtle people um, and it's just really beautiful artwork uh, it's like this reminds me of the crash star destroyer in uh, Force Awakens that kind of reminds me of the uh, the drones from the Matrix. It's like all sorts of really cool stuff. Wanted to show off the race sheets too. On the back of each of these race sheets are a little description on what the race is like, uh, how big their population is, and kind of a little description on how exactly to play them. Um, I'm not going to go through each every little description. I just kind of want to show off the artwork and then individual sheets. These are probably my favorite, the, uh, the cat people. These guys are cool too. Uh, they are like, they're ghosts essentially. They can like create portals, like they're really good with portals and teleporting across the galaxy. And a lot of these races is I don't know a whole lot about, but I'm excited to play them. And again, there's the turtle people. And again, the artwork on this game is just incredible. And last but not least, there's the humans. So that is Twilight Imperium in a really quick nut nutshell. I can see this being one of my favorite games to play. I already really enjoy it. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to playing it again. It's like when I saw my brother the other day, him and I were just talking about for like a good hour strategy and what we're excited to do during the next playthrough and how we might do things differently and what races we want to try um so what are your favorite board games have you played twilight imperium any of the four editions that are available comment below let me know thanks so much for watching